I'm Bill. And I'm Candace. And, and we're, we're the, the Disruptors. Disruptors. Today we have a very interesting interview that I held with two very charming ladies. One of them was Dee McDermott with the Lions Organization, and the other was Christina Turner representing Mary Bridge Hospital and their partnership concerning kids with cancer. And now here's our presentation. Hi, my name is Dee McDermott. I'm with uh, Lions. My club is uh, Olympia West down in Olympia, Washington. Back in July of last year, we have our new what's called a district governor, uh, which has 44 clubs under her in our area, had an idea, something that she wanted to promote as her signature project, and it was called um, Children's Pediatric Cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, Lions Club International just put that on as a new program in July of 2018. So when uh, District Governor Sharon Sykes came in, we uh, got together, and as of July 1st, 2018, we kicked off this new project. Um, so we're thinking, gosh, what are we going to do? Um, so we got together as a committee. Uh, there are nine that sit on our committee. And we thought, gee, we want to pull, we want to do a partnership in our district with Mary Bridge Children's um, Foundation Hospital. And so the contact was made, and we were very fortunate. We have Mary Bridge as our partner now, and it's been a great partnership. And representing Mary Bridge is Christina Turner, who is manager of uh, communication development. So we got together, and um, the good news about this, every year we change uh, district governors, for the next three years, they're keeping the same project, childhood cancer. And we had to take off the word pediatric because in Europe, they do not recognize pediatric, the, the word. So it's now called childhood cancer. So we, uh, my husband and I, uh, along with District Governor Sharon, um, got together and she asked if we would share this because we have a personal story that affected us from childhood cancer. So we started working away, and one of the things I always try to ask everybody, do you know every two minutes a child is diagnosed with childhood cancer? A partnership was developed, we're on the way, a committee is has been appointed, and with the appointment, we are now a 501c3, which is wonderful for donations, and that is carried through the Mary Bridge Foundation and all donations are 100% tax deductible. Because there's so many areas of cancer, our committee were trying to, we were trying to figure out, hey, what, what are we going to put all of our efforts in, into? And so we asked the Mary Bridge Oncology um, Department if they would give us their top five, five priorities. They did that, came back, our committee sat through and we all discussed it. And what we came out with is our uh, support is going to childhood cancer family support. That is a big, big need because children, when they're diagnosed, your family is number one. You need the support. The parents need the support. The single mom or the single dad need the support. And supporting these children is a healing process also because they know nothing but love. You're with them 24-7. So as we move through this, um, we tried to figure out, gee, you know, being a uh, Lions project, uh, Lions are very, very, very much a stipular about they want to know where their money is going. Very true. That would be very important. Very much so. So we did a breakdown working with uh, Mary Bridge Hospital. Um, we, we did a, a gift breakdown. Whatever you give, your gift is quantified. You get a thank you note uh, from Mary Bridge. They do all of our bookkeeping for us, which is wonderful. And they sent out our thank you uh, notes for them. Like, uh, gee, when you're a single parent, how do I pay my rent? Or how do I pay my hospital bill? So mm -hmm. we thought, oh, well, good form. $500 could cover rent. Uh, medical bills, $200. This is per, per person. 
uh, medication and equipment uh, not covered by insurance, we said $175. Utilities, you have to pay those utilities, $150. Electric bill, $125. Water bill, $100. Phone, $75. Grocery card, $50. Gas, $25. These are not large amounts, but if you keep adding this all together, that will help cover this. If you're a single parent, you have no way of paying your rent, putting food on the table, uh, gas back and forth, uh, if you have to take your child back and forth. Mary Bridge has the same quantifiers. If you live so many miles away, you may have to come in and live at the hospital or tree house, which will be talked about a little bit later. We went through this with a granddaughter. Her son was diagnosed with ATRT, which is a uh, childhood brain tumor. Mm. It travels through the fluids of your, your spinal cord and your brain. Wow. Uh, he was diagnosed at three months. Um, but we didn't know. We kept going from doctor to doctor because they kept saying he had a cold or he had something else. He was teething. Finally, we went to emergency at our local hospital in Olympia. He was diagnosed very quickly. He was medevaced Seattle Children's. And Wesley lived there for almost a year. Um, they did many, many things to try and, and correct this. And he had surgery, he had chemo, he had proton, he had radiation. Mm-hmm. Um, he succumbed to it at about 20 months old. So we learned from that, and that's why Jim and I have taken this on as a project, because we can give firsthand information. Samantha, uh, she has struggled through this, but she has now uh, married. She has a very healthy 14-month-old little guy running all over. (laughs) Uh, She is very much into this project, and she was over for Easter, and she is asking for... uh, Lions application to join the Lions. Well, that's wonderful. Um, the clubs, this is a club project, and we have had so many clubs coming up with fundraisers. We have pancake feeds. We have um, a theater night for special uh, ed children. We have, oh, there's so much. Uh, there's Golden. another... Golden. A golf tournament. <laughs> a voice um, sneaks in. A golf says. <laughs> tournament. There's a couple. Um, we have been asked to participate in Kent Cornucopia Days, oh. which is July 12th through the 14th. We are only a, a board of nine people. We can't handle it all, so we're going out asking for volunteers Cheers. to help us on that. We just have another request for Federal Way Lions Music in the Park. Uh, we're going to be discussing that. There's many different ways our clubs are, are, are helping out on this. Um, I'm very proud to say... Uh, Christina will back up on this one. So far, we have a little over $16,000 that have been donated from Wonderful. July to, to now. Wonderful. Um, family support, that's where it is. Uh, if I can provide any, um, you know. Uh, well, how long have you been with the Lions? Uh, let's see. I've been with the Lions 10 years. 10 years with the Lions. 10 years, yes. And uh, active. My husband has been with the Lions uh, about six years. About six years, mm-hmm. okay. We men takes us a few minutes you oh, know, to he, get caught up. You know, when I became, we're a little slow. <laughs> when I became what they call zone chair, which means zone chair, you have clubs under you. I uh-huh. have six clubs under me, and I said. Are you not going to join when your wife becomes his own chair? He says, nope. Nope. Well, he joined and he is now his own club. <laughs> oh, <chair>. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we also have with us today Christina Turner from Mary Bridge. And let's just take a moment and... Christina, what's going on at Mary Bridge? Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. Again, my name is Christina Turner. I am the manager of community development for Mary Bridge Children's Foundation. And I first just want to thank the Lions of District 19C for all they've done. This has been an incredible partnership that just keeps growing month after month. And um, it's really important that we wrap around our families who are going through childhood cancer and dealing with it. It's one of the most stressful times in a family's life. And the best part of every donation that's given to the foundation, 100% of every dollar goes straight to the cause. People often worry when they give to a nonprofit, where is their money going Going. exactly? And so we're happy to to share that 100% of every dollar goes straight to the families who need it. 
uh, our clinical and our social worker staff have access to those funds. And when they see a family in need, they can recognize that and then get them the help they need. Um, I've been in my role almost four years. Four years. Yeah, Wonderful. May 4th will be four years. And I have a fun job at, at Mary Bridge Children's Foundation. I get to work with external partners. Oh, okay. Yes, who want so to fundraise. You're out in the business world. I am. I am. Ah. So I work with all levels. So I call it from the Girl Scout troop, you know, level, doing little fundraisers all the way up to big, larger corporate partners. Wonderful. Um, it's been a blast. Yeah, and I also would like to share, um, people, when they give to a foundation, they want to know, again, it's going to a great cause. Well, Mary Bridge is a great place to donate. We learned in December that we are one of only 13 children's hospitals across the country that were awarded top hospital status by the LeapFrog Group. And the LeapFrog Group is an independent hospital watchdog organization that has certain metrics that you have to meet to get this award. And so the award is tied to patient safety and quality. And so it was very um, humbling and very exciting for us to share that award. And so I share that with everyone I speak to about Mary Bridge. I know it's a great place. I, and you know the families there are receiving good care. That is wonderful. Now, how long has Mary Bridge been in existence? Yeah, since 1955. Since 1955. Yes, a lot of people don't realize. They think Seattle Children's is the only um, dominant children's hospital Mm -hmm. on the west side of the state, but that's not true. Mary Bridge has been taking care of kids and families again since 1955. Since 1955. Now, are they a part of the uh, multi-care organization? Thank you, yes. So Mary Bridge is one of the nine hospitals that fall under the multi-care health system organization. And so we've got hospitals in Tacoma, um, Allen Moore Hospital, Tacoma General. We've got in Puyallup, Good Samaritan Hospital. Hospital. In the South King area, we have Auburn Medical Center. And then last year, we opened Covington uh, Medical Center. It has its own hospital now. Wonderful. Yeah. And then uh, also last year, we are moved into the east side of the state. And so Multicare acquired two hospitals in Spokane, uh, Deaconess Hospital, Valley Hospital, and Rockwood Clinics. And so wow. we are spread throughout Washington State, which also kind of puts us throughout the Pacific Northwest as well. Can you talk to us a little bit about the Cancer Center at Good Sam, for instance? Yeah, I, I don't know if I could speak to that today without preparing some notes. But, oh, well, um, <laughs> just give us a little, you know. Yeah, absolutely. We do have regional cancer centers. One is Good Sam, and um, we also have one in Auburn. Um, that supports our South King patients. But those um, are not just for clinical care, but they also have great resources for the patients and families, mm-hmm. kind of like what we're talking about here, mm-hmm. whether you need um, financial assistance, you know, um, therapy such as massage therapy, mental health, mm-hmm. all the wraparound services are also provided through our cancer center. So it's not just the clinical part, the medicine, physical part. But, but it's a whole gambit of things that you Yeah, the, the mental and emotional as well. I think the most important part, and I'm glad you ladies are coming today to talk about it, is keeping, uh, my wife passed away from cancer in 2002, Mm -hmm. but keeping the family together, uh, making sure that they feel not put aside, and that warmth and everything is so important, especially for kids, Mm because that has to be a terrible, tough Right. I use the expression when we talk about the family and the children uh, fighting uh, this battle of cancer. I use the expression like it's like wrapping a blanket around your child. Uh-huh. Um, it's so, so very important because they're in a very stressful area. They don't know what's happening to them. Um, the support that's out there for all these kiddos going through this is tremendous. The hospitals, they have a tremendous support system. They bring in musicians, they bring in shows, they bring in puppets, they bring they bring so much for those children. And it's kind of like a camp for some of these kids that are on the mend and, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a much needed uh, support system, so. I think that in the aspect of that, when you think about it, if the kids stay happy and know they're loved and cared for, that's the first major battle that's won when you fight cancer. Right. Especially in a children's situation. That's what we said. Uh, When they recommended that Wesley uh, be sent back home for palliative care while he was still what they called fairly healthy, Mm -hmm. he was home with us over a little over four months. That little boy knew nothing but love. Mm -hmm. He did more things in his (laughs) short, short life than he probably would have done when he up to five years old. He was sent everywhere. 
the hospital uh, make a wish. There, there